I would definitely not be sitting here right now if it wasn't for Cadrona's park and pipe. I think one thing that we take for granted is the fact that when we roll up everything is running perfect and sometimes you do have to remind yourself that those guys are absolutely working their ass off to make sure that things are running perfect just so we can go and ride. It's definitely overlooked sometimes. Slocum and I'm the train park supervisor for Cadrona Alpine Resort in New Zealand. I've been working at Cadrona in the train park, I think it's my 12th season, but I've had a season pass here since 1999. We designed the park as a team. I think it's very important that everyone is involved. It's a democracy. We'll sort of take a vote on those and then um, I'll get on SketchUp and draw it up so it'll make it nice and easy for the cat drivers to, to know what to do with the snow. start setting the features in place. Um, some we can pick up by hand, others we'll get the cats to pick up and put in place for us. And then shovel work, put the boys to work on the shovel. So we're getting one of our flat features set up for the park. Get it lined up first, get it dug down to a nice height, make sure everything's level, plumb and good to go. And then we'll get a takeoff pushed by the cat. Yeah, when, when the cats push the takeoff, uh, they're pretty good, they get it, like basically ready to go. And we just come in with the rakes and give it a little tidy up and clean up the sides so it's looking uh, photo ready for the next day. All our features are tested from the park crew before we open the public. I think it's pretty important that if you're on the crew, you need to be able to hit most of the features, if not all the features in the park, so you understand all the angles and what needs to be adjusted, if anything. So I've got my marker over there, which was 45 feet. And I've got on the computer my topography lines, so I know if I'm pointing the right direction. And Dougie pushed me a nice little pile here, and it's a perfect amount of snow. And then we just need to shape it. If you get a laser line wrong by like an inch, that laser, when it goes up that landing to match the other one, it's gonna be off by like three meters, you know? As long as my backblade lines are perfect, everything goes easy. But if I'm like turned a bit, I have an issue. And if they're not perfect, they're not, they're not right. Oh, I'm such a nerd. Like we finish work and we'll sit there and talk about like snow cats and like jumps and snow for like another hour, two hours. I mean, I do it 12 months a year. If I wasn't a nerd about it, I don't, you know, I would have burnt out by now, for sure. I couldn't picture myself doing anything else. I think honestly coming here is like therapy. If I'm ever feeling at the end of like the Olympics and stuff a little bit burnt out, I'm just like, oh, I'll be in New Zealand soon, you know? It's always such a like blessing to get back here. The guys I work with, I love, love them to death. I never build a jump without getting one of the guys to come and look at it. Get someone to look at it for the first time, they kind of see it differently than when you're just like going backwards and forwards on the same pile of snow for an hour. Nobody's so proud that they're like, think they're the best or they, you know, they don't need anyone else's opinion. I appreciate any feedback. And same with those guys. Like we just had a nice talk, you know? It wasn't like, this, this sucks. It was like, I think it could be a little taller. So we make it a little taller. Happy days. I reckon that's sweet, dude. Yeah. It looks fun. Chainsaw time. Okay. Have fun down there. There's just an energy about it that you're like, yeah, I'll stay up all night. Built jumps. Bro, happy to. <laughs> Uh, five different park zones here at Cadrona. 
we have uh, Little Bucks, which is a good uh, starting point. We should try and have a good progression going from Little Bucks to Stag, so you can take the next step up to the next park. Next up is Stag Lane. Um, majority of the features are jib orientated. After that we have Analyst Alley, which is a set of three intermediate sized jumps. In the pad below that, we have quite a big wide open area, which can be quite different season to season. Depending on snow, we have a lot of terrain to work with. And then we've got Big Bucks. Big Bucks is the biggest park we have two, sometimes three rail pads, and three, sometimes four jumps on it. We have two half pipes. The Olympic pipe is 22 feet, the mini pipe is 15. When it comes to the big air, it's, uh, it is a pretty nervous time for testing. It's a big one. You, you gotta be, uh, you've gotta be ready to step up to that. Whenever I build a jump and I know they're testing it in the morning, I'm usually like still up in night staff, like watching out the window, bloodshot eyes. There's a lot of trust that goes both ways. You just want it to be tested and get that like, yeah, it's sweet. And Jack's the man for that. He's an integral part of this whole design. My name's Jack Spence. Can I just say Jack, do I have to say Spence? I shattered my tibia on this jump in 2014 and uh, good learning experience. Yeah, I have a lot of trust in Shaw's jumps because I mean, when you're testing a jump that's, um, you know, 80, 85 feet, you want to know that it's going to be nice with the first time you hit it. It's a very big jump and there's a lot of consequence. I think the sphere, a scale of one to 10 of pooping my pants is probably going up to an eight now maybe. I generally tend to not think about it too much because the more you think about it, you're just going to overthink every little aspect. All good? Yeah, bye. Ah, uh, that was about 30 feet too deep. Ooh! That's the deepest test I've ever done by far. Oh, now we'll know to go a little bit lower, and the jump itself is really good, so... Yeah, that was a successful test, but looked a bit sketchy, but I'll take it. <laughs> Always scary. Always got to respect the jump and how big it is. I, I love flying like, short jumps, and being in the cat with him here and there when he builds stuff makes the whole process way less scary and just way funner. Right, she's she's smooth as eggs, mate. Smooth as eggs. <laughs> We're here at the uh, JWY Big Air. The jump's huge, but we're lucky it's built well, so you can kind of back that the, uh, the tranny's going to match and it's going to be all good, which is a relief. <laughs> So this day and age, skiing and snowboarding, the tricks are so big, so high consequence that having a safe, well-made jump where the transitions match is so important. This jump here at Cadrona, the big air here, is one of the better jumps I think I've hit in years. I mean, this thing is shaped really well, huge, big speed, enough air time for any trick you want to try from triples to quads. Oh my god! <laughs> that was a uh, quad flat 14. <laughs> it was just something I kind of wanted to do as a personal challenge. This jump's so perfect that I was like, you know, I want to get this challenge off my mind. It's nice to be done with it. Uh, yep, got a really, really good team up here. Um, what? Like bang in the middle? Oh, like slightly middle to the left? To the right, sorry. I can see they're using an iPhone for levels. It's not even one of the new ones. Oh, f what? 
<laughs> bro. <laughs> no, man. Dress it up. Look at this. <laughs> I've got a spare face mask in my locker, dude. Like, no, I got a spare one. Oh, I thought well. I had one in my bag. Oh, in my pocket, but no. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm, I'm committed. <laughs> committed to this. Hypothermia. Dude, my eyelashes are frozen together. They don't open yeah, anymore. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. baby. <laughs> dude, they actually made four. <laughs> <laughs> Park crew are the backbone of freestyle skiing and snowboarding. I owe uh, pretty much all of my success and joy that I've got out of skiing to the park crew and everyone that's involved um, up there, you know, the groom drivers, the maintenance boys. It's incredible. And so I guess all I can say is a massive thank you and, and I hope I do all your hard work justice by shredding the features as hard as I can. The whole snow culture here is unlike anywhere else. We've got a crystal clear morning. Nice, nice quarter all the way up here. Pretty dense, we've had some overnight snow two nights ago. Got a big crew of the Kiwi shooters. Jumps looking magical, so should be good. This one's for you, TC, as always. I do this job because I love it. I love snowboarding, I love park riding, and I basically get to come to work and build a massive playground and work with a bunch of good people doing it, so it's, it's a great job.